gonna season up this chicken really quick and I wanted to show you exactly what I'm gonna use. And it's going to be marinating while we are out. I am going to make some smothered chicken um, with cream of chicken. And yeah, so let's season it up. Garlic. Paprika. Cayenne pepper. Because you want that ginger. Lori's season salt or any season salt. Minced onion. Parsley. Salt and pepper. Last thing before you give it a mix, go ahead and hit it with some hot sauce. Okay, you guys, so I don't even know what happened to my sound. Uh, TikTok, get it together. Okay, but what I was saying right here is, or in this video was, if you want your chicken to have a good little char, add some flour on top afterwards, and go ahead and give that a good mix. So whether you're putting it in the oven or you're doing it on the stove, I'm telling you, this is the perfect way to get a char. In addition to that, I also... Um, was saying that I'm still going to let this marinate. So what I'm doing is, is I'm covering up and I'm placing it in the fridge until I get back. It was currently 7.01 when we were about to leave the house. And um, I said that I was going to tell you guys what time it was when I came back. It was currently 2.20. So it's been marinating for a good amount of time. This right here is the pot that I decided to use. And I'm just going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so listen, when it comes down to your chicken, remember we are cooking it in the oven. So right now we just wanna get a good little char on it before we place it in the oven, okay? Let's do that. Place your pan on the stove and we're gonna go ahead and add in some olive oil and then we're gonna place our chicken in. Okay, so once you have your chicken in the pan, let's go ahead and close this up so then we can do our other preparations. Okay, now when it comes down to chicken broth, you can pretty much buy your broth already done or you can get some chicken bouillon cubes or however you say it, or even the powder. I'm gonna use the powder because I love the powder the best. And I'm just going to add that inside of there, maybe a good amount and add some hot water. Okay, now that we have our one cup of broth, I'm gonna go ahead and open up all of my cream of chicken soups. Now, you can do any kind. The cream of chicken is up to you. Store brand, no store brand, the choice is yours, okay? Um, I have cream of celery and I also have cream of chicken, but let's check on this chicken first. Look at that. Look at this, y'all. I'm about to take it out after I let it cook a little bit on the other side. I'm gonna take it out, but do you see that, y'all? That's what you're looking for. Let's flip them. Okay, so once you have them all flipped, look at that, y'all. Look at that chicken. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that chicken? This, once you got it flipped and it looks like this, go ahead and cover it back up for about five more minutes and go ahead and get your glass pan out for the oven. All right, now that we got our chicken charred just the way we like it, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it out. And you wanna be careful, don't rip your skin because look, look at this. We want all of this beautiful skin. Look at that, look at that. You want that. Just place it inside your glass. And these are all leg quarters. What I did was is I just cut them in half. So then if anybody wanna eat more than one, they can. Um, so you can do this recipe using any kind of cut of chicken that you like, even down to chicken wings, okay? Let's finish this up. Do y'all see this chicken char? Okay, don't clean that out. Let's deglaze and add our veggies. Okay, I'm gonna deglaze with the whole stick of butter, just like that, and then I'm gonna add in some veggies. Okay, right here I have my Trinity plus a red pepper. So I have my bell pepper, my red pepper, my celery, 
and some onions. You are not going to use all of this, but it's good to have it for other meals. You can freeze it. You can put it inside of a mason jar, which is what I'm going to do, and put it in the fridge so that when I need some more, I got it. I ain't got to worry about cutting up nothing. So let's cook these veggies down just a little. Okay, so right now we are deglazing our pan. So we want all of that good chicken skin and seasoning that got stuck at the bottom. We want all of that good stuff to come up. So anything that you see along the sides, make sure you touch it with your veggies and your butter so that it can deglaze it and that means loosen it up, okay? So then it can season up your veggies. Okay, I'm thirsty. All right, so. Here's my mason jar with my veggies. And if you have more, you can go ahead and cut them up. Like I have, as you can see right here, I got one bell pepper left. I'm gonna cut that up and add it in here because I want it in here. So now let's add our broth and I'm going to add some um, minced garlic to my pot. And we're gonna cook this down and I'm gonna show you the next thing. All right, I'm gonna add a whole tablespoon and a half in there and I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mix and as you can see do you see how if I do this everything is just moving from the bottom now mind you this is only butter right now okay so it smells amazing in here let's add in our broth give that a mix Okay, now let's add in our cream of celery. And then I'm going to add in our cream of chicken. And we're gonna give that a good mix. Okay, I have both of them added. Now let's go ahead and mix that up. And you wanna take your time because you want it to get loose. And the more that your bubble, I mean, that your butter and your broth mix with it, the thinner it's going to get. Now also, show you a trick if you like you can grab yourself up a whisk and go ahead and whisk that and it'll help thin that cream of chicken and cream of mushroom it'll help thin that out so if you want go ahead and try it out with a whisk you want to go ahead and give it a taste make sure it has the right taste to you if not add your salt your pepper okay so i want some fresh um pepper in there and i also added some salt i'm going to add a little bit more garlic and my husband saying it baby can you make it just a little spicy oh i got you a little bit more cayenne okay so add that in there now if your family can have um, chili flakes. You can add that as well. But my husband is allergic, so I can't use that. But this right here, I'm sure that it did its purpose. Now go ahead and give that a taste. It's extremely hot, so hold on. Okay, taste-wise, mine is good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and transfer that sauce over top of the chicken. But I want to give you a close-up because you deserve it. Okay, once your chicken is all covered like this, we're gonna cover this up with aluminum foil. Now, mind you, I did not use all my sauce. Let me show you. Okay, so I have my chicken covered. I'm about to slide it inside of the oven, but I wanted to show you, if your family is anything like mine, you need to get you a gravy ladle. And this is perfect for um, your rice. I'm gonna make some rice, so I'm gonna cover this up, place it in the microwave, and just keep it there until we're about to eat, but then you can ladle over rice. Y'all see it in the video, but let's slide this in the oven. Okay, so I'm about to wash my rice so that we can do this rice. But let me tell you something. Before anybody starts saying, Lady K, you know, are you mean to tell me yes? Today is Sunday and ain't nothing like the glory of the Lord. So we are going to do these. <laughs> we are going to do these glory season green beans today, baby. Okay. Um, cause this was already a, all right. So now that I just showed y'all the green beans, I just put my rice on. We are doing these rolls right here. 
And the directions say to let them thaw out, but if you can't let them thaw out, then you have to, um, it's a process, okay? It's a, it's a process. So what you want to do is you want to get your foil. I have my foil, and I'm just going to cover them up, okay? And then it says loosely cover, okay? So you don't cover it tight, and then you're going to put them in the oven. Follow the instructions. The instructions is on the back right here. But these biscuits are amazing. They're rolls. They're not biscuits. These are rolls. Okay, y'all, dinner is all done, and let me tell you something. This chicken is good. Um, definitely, I suggest you try out the recipe. Let me give you a quick view, and then I'm going to make plates, and then y'all going to get a chance to see. Thank you. 